96.5 Fulton FM, the voice of the Fulton family on a rather warm Wednesday evening. It's tw- 23 degrees. When we started, it was 28, would you believe? Was it really? Yeah. yeah. Goodness yeah. me. It's only gone down by five. It's crazy. Wow. We've got our second guest of the evening here. We've got two gentlemen who've come all the way from Manchester, and we really appreciate you coming up tonight. Thank, Thank you. you very much. One guy called... Kira, Kira, what's your name? Kira, no. Kira, that's you known by that, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Originally from Ireland, living in Manchester. That's right. And we've got your friend and colleague there, Paul Gleave, and you're from Manchester. Partington. Partington. So yeah, we we'll share microphones here. You're from Partington yeah. near Manchester. Yeah, yeah. I'm from a uh, place called Party Town, Partington. Yeah. Part- is that right? Is that what it is? Never looked like that when I've driven through it, but there we are. <laughs> uh, Kira, you've written, uh, you've written, you in fact work for the, uh, for the, uh, Music therapy department at Christmas. I don't actually work for them, I represent them. Yeah, Sorry, just represent doing, them. Just doing a charity event for okay, them uh, okay. uh, on Sunday, uh, this Sunday. Come on, tell us where it is. Uh, the VIP Wine Bar and Grill in Breadbury, Stockport. Okay. And it's My son lives in Breadbury, he might find it. Oh, does he? Yeah, 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 yeah I'll tell him about it. Thanks for that. Excellent. But you've also done a charity single. Yeah. Uh, what I did was I did, a, I did more of a... Release one of my own because I found a bit, you know, a little bit eager to. Because you write your own, don't you? I, I write all my own yeah, material, yeah. yeah. But so I thought a lovely song by Keen. I thought that's nice and radio friendly. And if anyone wants to buy that, they can buy it on Bandcamp for only ninety nine. Buy it for from uh, Bandcamp. It's called. And I've never heard. Have you? We've heard of that, have we? Yeah. Yeah. No, no. Or you could just go on my Facebook and it's on there, and you can buy it for ninety nine. What's your Facebook address? Keynote seven seven at Facebook. No, you, what you need to do. Um, so we at least say it right. Is spell your name for us? K I E R N O. Kino. Yeah. Kino. Okay. You're the only two man. Send back a bit of coffee, don't we? He also answers to Ono. Oh, yeah. 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 Or do you remember when we were on TV, Paul? What, what was it? Nothing like a name dropping. Who was it, Fiona Fox, when we were on TV? What did she say? Kermit. <laughs> oh no, that was. I was on that time. That were you not on that time? No, no. It's another time. Oh, yeah, no, that was on you. Yeah, the, the, I got introduced as Kermit's kind of catchy. Kermit, isn't it? Kermit the Frog. Yeah, <laughs> nothing wrong with that. Yeah, but when you're from Ireland, it's a bit too green for me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right, we're going to a song that you've written for charity. Yeah. For, for, uh, for uh, Chris's. Uh, no, this is just one of my old that. I've okay, wrote. we'll do uh, that one just, first. Uh, but uh, hope you all enjoy it. This is called Don't Let It Go. Thank you. 
brilliant, that. Thank you. Yeah. How long did it take to write that? Ten minutes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ten minutes. <laughs> True, I don't I'm expecting that. It was just one of those. I was sat in my bedroom, messing about with the guitar, yeah. and I, I, I was on um, All FM, yeah. and I said, I promised them I'd write them original. Excuse me. Mm-hmm. I promised them I'd write them like a, a new song. So I remembered the day before that I promised them that, and I thought, I best write my song. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> the, the charity song that you've done for uh, Christie's, how long did it take to write that? I didn't write that. That's, you didn't write uh, that? That's a cover, that one. That one's uh, by Keen. Okay. So I just covered it in my... I've done it very, very different than Keen. I, do. I put a bit more rock and roll into with the it. Music therapy, with the music therapy you, work, you do with them... Yeah. What do you do exactly with it? Well, basically, oh, I just represent the charity. Basically, yeah. all, all I do, all I'm doing is um, I'm putting out the single and doing charity events for them. And then, obviously, if they want me to come down and do a bit of teaching acoustic guitar, I'll just do that. Yeah. They have they have other guys doing all that sort of thing. So it's mainly basically just raising money for the charity. Do you know what I mean? How's that going? It's going well. It's going very well. Yeah. Uh, we've got loads attending, which is very really really good. And um, it's just, it's just really nice that that uh, it's kids raising money for kids. Do you know what I mean? That's that's the important part. And you know, my children are involved in it. Other people's children are involved in it. And you know, there's no charge of entry on the day. You can just come, and what we're just asking is make a donation because we're not begging people. Sure. We're 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 merely saying, let's make money for this part of Christie's Hospital. And I know there's a. People don't recognise that there's different departments in Christie's, you know, and this... this It's a vast place. Oh, it's it? massive, and different money goes to different departments, do you know what I mean? So when I actually spoke to the hospital, I spoke to the lady called Emma, and I said, uh, what's the best... What thing was your name, sir? Emma. Emma, sorry. Yeah. I said, what's the best thing I can do? And she said, you know what, you'd be brilliant representing the music therapy department. She said, you'd be br- better off doing yeah, that first, yeah. you know, with me being a musician and a rock and roll singer. Yeah. I hope. <laughs> I think I am a rock and roll singer, not sure about the musician part. So just, just remind us again, Keanu, uh, the, the event is in Bredbury. Yeah, this Sunday. This Sunday. Yeah. And um, wh- where is it? The uh, VIP Wine Bar and Grill. Yeah. And we've got loads of prizes going on. We've got like the Frog and Bucket in right. Manchester, Night and Day, the Rising Sun, Bredbury's offering free vouchers. Is, that in, the, is that in the centre of Bredbury? Yeah, it's right in the centre of Bredbury, yeah. yeah. What time does it start? The, t- the show starts approximately 12 o'clock and goes on till it ends. <laughs> right. So you're going to get your money's worth and give your money's worth too. Yeah, well, you've got brilliant artists coming down. Obviously, you've got Paul who's next to me here. You've got Franco coming down. Cockney John. I love that name. Yeah. Cockney John. So how long have me you and been, Paul are just how, how long have you been playing music, Paul? Me? Oh, many, 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 many years. Many years. Um, it's probably uh, started playing the guitar about uh, when I was about 15, 16. Maybe. About three years ago, then? Yeah, about then, yeah, yeah. Um, but I've only actually been gigging for the past two years. Uh, yeah. I've been raising six kids. Uh, six kids? Well, on the weekends. Oh, on the weekends. Yeah, on the weekends. <laughs> uh, I've got the weeks to myself. <laughs> they get an hour each. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I've been I've been doing that, but um, my ex-girlfriend kind of uh, really, really ripped me off a lot. Okay. And left me uh, at the moment. I live in a garden shed. Oh. And I, over the past couple of weeks, I've recorded an album using my, my mobile phone. Really? Um, I've recorded video on my mobile phone, then took the audio from that, took that into a program called Cubase, put effects on it, and wow. Well, well, you've written the album, which is presumably uh, available. Sounds, uh, uh, I'm a massive Prince fan, and Prince always had on the back of his albums produced, arranged, composed, and performed by Prince. <laughs> and I just wanted that credit on mine. There's nothing wrong with that, is there? Yeah. So yeah, the the, the album is all my own work. I've I've, I've done everything. I've wrote all the songs. I play it. I've recorded it. I've mixed it. I've done everything. Did that take? How long did that take you? Uh, the best part of the past three weeks. Right. But most of it has been just tweaking the sound and getting yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah just how I want it and I've got it just off. and you've written a song about the Manchester attack recently I have yeah yeah it was um, it was something that affected everybody do you know what everybody I mean? yeah um, so, but it, it was that story of, of the, the tragedy of the event and the way Manchester turned it into something positive and it became what it became do yeah, you know yeah. I mean? <clears throat> and that's what I tried to portray in the song it's the, the start of the song is quite harrowing and then it it sort of brings out that that positive message of hope and 
and that's what I tried to, I'm hoping to get across in this song. Um, I mean, it's called The Slaughter of Innocence, which is, I think, I sometimes think is a bit of a brutal title. Yeah, but, but, <laughs> but it's pretty gr- brutal, that, isn't it? Well, that's what happened. But well, it is a brutal thing, which that is what happened. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm or, promoting a song I've wrote myself, so obviously I'm going to like it, do you know what I mean? But I, I, th- I just think it was something that I needed to say, and I think Manchester needed to hear, do you know yeah. what I mean? Um, but, you know, I'll let other people judge that. Well, by chance you brought your guitar, so if just you, you want to play it for us, we'd be thrilled, wouldn't we? There was one of you. Yeah, this is, um, like I say, a song called The Slaughter of Innocence. By Paul Green. Gleave. G L E A V. Everyone says that. Yeah. Everyone, yeah. On, everyone on TV said that, didn't I, they? I'm used to people getting <laughs> my name wrong, it's nothing. Um, yeah, you can find me on uh, www.paulgleave. Um, that's Paul, P A U L G L E A V E. .co.uk. That's so I'll check that out later on for sure. Yeah. At least he's not called Kermit. Yeah. <laughs> there, there is that. Uh, not yet. <laughs> I, I get called Piggy a lot. <laughs> Fuzzy Barry could probably be good. <laughs> right, so yeah, this is, uh, this is a song called The Slaughter of Innocence. In the name of God, there's another, another body lying dead in the street. How many bodies must we cover Before we learn to live in peace Could have been my father Could have been my mother Could have been my sister Could have been my brother Could have been my daughter Could have been my son Slaughter of innocent Hey, yeah Some say that's the way that God planned it And it's only God's will that we do Well, forgive me if I don't understand it It ain't God making bombs, it's you Could have been your father Could have been your mother Could have been your sister Could have been your brother Could have been your daughter Could have been your son Say exactly the same. I mean, you can't <coughs> underplay the seriousness of it. How you convey it has got to be the way it was, hasn't it? Uh, that's why I said I think it needed. I, I think so. Yeah. So yeah. yeah nice that's song. Um, yeah. A very, a very excellent song. That. So thank you very much for thank you for, uh, for, that. Thank you. for bringing that to us. So well, that's on your album, is it? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, see, what I've done on the album <coughs> is yeah, the album before the attack. 
was originally an 11 song album mm. yeah. so I've recorded that and then what I've done is we've put another 10 tracks in and those 10 tracks represent 22 seconds of silence just for the excellent uh, yeah. Yeah, that's the Vixen great idea. and then that song will appear on the album at track 22 so yeah if anybody wants to get the album do they have to go to your website uh, well it's not actually available yet okay. because I'm having a, but you see what, like I said, I've took it into a program called Cubase, and I've got it sounding absolutely. What, what's Cubase? What are they? It's doing? a sequencer like Pro Tools, like okay, yeah, 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 yeah you know, like um, technical data. Technical. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's why I don't understand it. Did they use it in studio? Sound engineer like in the left of me. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I've, I've got it in Cubase, and it sounds really, really good. But then when I mix it down into a file that I can put onto a disc, yeah. I'm losing all my high frequencies because my computer's not very oh, good. Right, okay. Do you know what I mean? So they're just going to balance it all out. So I need to find a way, if anybody knows, <laughs> <laughs> of getting what I'm listening to in Cubase onto a disc without losing any of the sound quality with no sound card. Oh, get in I've touch, musicals. <laughs> I've got a sound card, but I'm not sure I've fitted it properly, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm having a few difficulties at the moment. I'm sure you'll overcome them. So if anybody, overcome, so if anybody can help Paul... Yeah, I have, I have a friend as well, um, goes by the name of Copperstep, who's he's going to be... You've got some wrong names, you lot, oh, haven't yeah. you? Yeah, Copperstep. Adam? Copperstep, you will know his name. Copperstep's uh, name. You will know this man's name. He is going to be the next Anthony Wilson in this town because right. this, this man is a, is a force unstoppable, let me tell you. And he, he's organising Manchester at the moment. They don't know it. But he is. He's doing really well. I see all his. I oh, see it on the Facebook all the time. Guy. He's just a most amazing guy. And we're, we're teaming up at the moment. We're going to be a, a, a duo called the Duelist. Like, you know, the old Duelist. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We're spelling it with an A, not an E, so because there's two of us. So we're oh, that's clever, yeah. Duelist. You know what I mean? <laughs> and what we're going to do is we're going to go out and he plays very ambient um, folk music. And he's going to like get up and play 45 minutes and chill everybody out. And then I'm going to get up and shout at everybody and rock them all up again. Cool. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, if you, if you want to book the Duelist, um, go on the Duelist Facebook page. And, uh, and that's D-U-A-L-L-I-S-T-S. That's the one. Yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah. Yep. Copper Step and Paul Weave. Also known as the Prince of Party Town. All right. And Partington. Well, Partington's called I'm not Party sure about that, you know. Partington's called Party Town, okay. and I'm a big Prince fan. So, okay. um, an awesome guy that, who started me on this path, really, Evan, uh, El, Kevin Elvis Murphy. And if you're out there, Kevin, you're, you're an awesome bloke. I love you. I've seen him on Facebook. He looks oh, really he's, funky, he's doesn't awesome. he? The, 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 the charity single that you've recorded for Christie's. Yeah. Are you going to sing that for us? Uh, no, I've, 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 All right. I've basically. Yeah. <laughs> okay, no, no. I think, did I send you that? I think I sent it to you, did I? I, I've not seen it. Oh, have you not? I've not seen it. I thought they asked me for it. I thought I'd send it across to you. <laughs> it's not really a, like just to be sag on the acoustic, to be honest. It's more like, you know, it, it just went in and banged it out of the studio, do you know? Yeah, but what I will do is I'll make sure you get a copy. Please do, please do. I'll make sure you get a copy of the yeah, Okay. So your big event, and you presumably do quite yeah, a number Sunday. of uh, fundraising events, but the next one is this Friday, uh, Sunday at the VIP Wine and 12 Bar. 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock. That's yeah. presumably not midnight, 12 noon. Oh, I have. Okay. So it might go on till midnight. <laughs> you never know. You, never, you know. never know with me. <laughs> and that's in the centre of Breadbury. Yeah, it's it's right in the centre of Bed- Breadbury. Uh, it's, a, it's a really lovely venue. Uh, you know, we could have a bouncy castle there, fire engine coming down, barbecue. So it's just going to be a lovely all out day for the children, do you know what I mean? And then the kids will just be going around with buckets, you know, trying to raise money for the child. Have you actually set a target what you're hoping to raise? Uh, no, it's just donations, though. It's just what, whatever we raise on the day. We raise on the day, and every penny just goes to the charity, you know. So, yeah. please, God, they, that will make uh, quite a bit of money for them. And I'm really looking forward to it. Well, we, we wish you every success Thank for you. it, don't we? We hope you have a great right. day and that your music um, is very successful as well. Can, can I just give a quick shout Of course shout you can. Tell anybody you want. Uh, to, uh, on Saturday, um, I'm going to be opening uh, the festivities at the Carlton Club on Carlton Street in Wally Range okay. for the Manx Giving Festival, which is a charity gig aimed towards the, the bomb victims. Right. Oh, that's brilliant. Um, so, yeah, that, that's happening on uh, on Saturday on Saturday at about, I think you kick off at one o'clock. Right. Uh, tell us again where it is. Yeah, yeah. It's at the Carlton Club. On Carlton Road in Wally Range. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's it's not far from Seymour Grove, if you know Seymour Grove. Yeah. It's just, yeah. just off there. Okay. And just gigs-wise, uh, by the way, uh, this Friday, I'll be at the uh, Bull's Head in Marple. Saturday, I'll be at... Oh, sorry, Friday, I'm at the Friendship. 
and then Saturday I'll be at the Bull's Head in Marple and we're going to rock the place the finger pulse sorry on Friday it is I've got that many of them you've seen my diary haven't you yeah. well, and then well, Sunday's well, obviously the charity event well, well I'll, I'll perish your elbow good luck with everything and thanks, yeah. thanks a million for coming in too yeah, thank you thank for you so much to, and to sing for us as well 96.5 Bolton FM wishing you a very happy Wednesday evening outside. Temperature's still good, it's 21 degrees. That's nice, isn't it? Not bad for a Wednesday Won't night. need your bed socks tonight, that's for sure. No. We, we've got uh, Keno and Paul Gleaves. No S. No S. Paul Gleave, we'll get there. And, uh, <laughs> I love that. Keno's going to sing a song that he yeah, wrote, wrote This recently. one I wrote about... Um, don't tell us the title for crying out No, 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 don't worry. Uh, well, we call it Further Adventures of a Messed Up Agenda. Okay. And I wrote this about uh, where I started, who gave me my first shot night and day in Manchester. Right. Um, my beloved, it's my home, my spiritual musical home, mm-hmm. night, night and day. And I think so many artists have started there. Uh, they've done so much for Manchester. Yeah, yeah. So this is for Jan, Jay, Jenny, everybody there at night and day. Um, yeah, I hope this one day becomes their anthem. So here you go, here's the song I wrote. And this is everything in this song is true. It's, it, this We're is all here, right. carry on. a couple of days that one now you see uh, c- 10 minutes. Co- that actually took me 20 years of living in Manchester to write that okay. <laughs> that's not the experience <laughs> listen we wish we could talk to you all night long and listen to some you. more songs but we, we, and you've been really time to uh, invite me down and, and I really yeah, do yeah, appreciate you. and thank you, you both very much no, you're, very, much. you're very welcome listen listeners, listeners we always say don't be strangers you've got our phone numbers anything we can do to thank assist you. you along the way and Chris no is of course you give us a call God bless you Bolton FM from Kieran hey and thanks for joining us. We appreciate it. Best of luck with your album there, Paul. Thank you. Thank you. Thank All right. Thank you.